Hi, and welcome back to Enigmatic Universe. I'm Clifton 3D, and today we're going to be talking about an article where they have found out that the human arrival in South America has taken place 25,000 years ago. Let's get into the article. So, the historical timeline shook. Human arrival in South America pushed back to 25,000 years ago. Human arrival in the Americas has a long disputed timeline. A new evidence supports pushing back the date for human arrival in South America to at least 25,000 years ago. Hmm. The evidence? Remains of bones of extinct giant ground sloths transformed into pendants by ancient inhabitants found in the Santa Elena rock shelter situated in central Brazil, Brazil's Mato Grosso state. Till now, this remains the most compelling evidence for human settlement in the Americas this far back. Hmm. Sloth, Ulsterdermis, and human jewelry interconnected. In a fantastic new study published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B, researchers meticulously examined sloth osterdomerus, fossilized bone dermal plates, which act as protective armor for animals like armadillos, etc., revealing intricate details that point to human interaction. Three sloth uh, sloths in particular were found to bear distinct signs of human working. They were discovered in close proximity to stone tools and displayed meniscus holes that could only have been made by human hands. These observations show that these three Ulster germs were modified by humans into artifacts, probably personal ornaments, the researchers wrote in their paper. Santa Elena, a rock shelter hiding a secret for 25,000 years. Since 1985, the Santa Elena rock shelter has been a subject of archaeological exploration. Prior investigations at the site unveiled numerous stone tool artifacts, extensive rock wall drawings, and thousands of sloth ostromus. I can't pronounce that word, and I'll probably keep pronouncing it incorrectly every time. However, the recent study highlights three specific ostroderms with small holes that could only have been made by human hands. We now have evidence together with other sites from South and North America that we have to rethink our ideas about the immigration of humans to the Americas, said Marina Liza Alves whole bunch of one, two, three, four, five names. A study co-author and archaeologist at the uh, Federal University of Sao Carlos in Brazil. The scientists explored, uh, implored, employed, uh, damn it. the scientists employed the combination of evidence, microscopic and macroscopic visualization technique to analyze the sloth Osterderms. The artifacts exhibit polished surfaces, stone tool incisions, and scraping marks. On top of that, the precision of animal bite marks eliminates the possibility of rodent activity as the as a cause of these distinctive preparations. Um. <laughs> Electron microscope and photoluminescence uh, data allows us to distinguish different types of marks that helped us conclude that the marks attributed to human beings were made on flesh bo fresh bones or at least before the burial of the carcass, explained Pacheco. Pacheco, I don't know. Sorry. Nonetheless, the shape and abundance of Astrodermis leads led the speculation that they might have 
been fashioned independence or other specialized items while the true purpose remains elusive the discovery the discovery highlights the intriguing possibilities surrounding the interaction between ancient humans and their environment our data are confirmed by the archaeological context as well bones and hundreds of ostradamus of the ground of the ground sloth are in the same depositorial context in addition the skeleton is in a archaeological context with other material elements of the culture such as stone tools if they if the ostradamus were not polished while fresh, they were at least polished as dry remains, which are different from remains that are mineralized by fossilization. That woman said. Um, human occupation in South America, an ever expanding timeline. The unambiguous association between human modified, modif modified sloth bones and stone tools. Found in geological layers dating back 2,500 years ago to 2,700, tw 27,000 years ago, 25,000 years. That I hope I I hope I got that one right. <laughs> Challenges the existing timeline of human settlement in South America. Reports the Associated Press. This revelation aligns with other controversial evidence suggesting and even earlier human occupation, such as the Toka da Tira Pela rock shelter in eastern Brazil, dating back 22,000 years ago. These findings open doors to reelevating our understanding of the migratory patterns and timelines of early human populations in the Americas. This is interesting. Seems like we don't know everything, and history isn't settled, huh? Our evidence reinforces the interpretation that our colleagues working on Santa Elena have been talking about for 30 years. Teis Panzani, a paleontologist at the University of Sao Carlos in Brazil, said in an email to Live Science, this was namely that humans were in central Brazil at least 27,000 years ago. While the evidence from Santa Elena presents a compelling case for an earlier human presence in South America, it is crucial to recognize that many sites across the continent remain unexplored or inadequately studied. The ongoing debate surrounding human arrival in the Americas suggests that there is much more to uncover in the rock shelters and caves of Brazil. Lead researcher Panzani anticipates that further evidence awaits discovery. We believe that there should be more evidence waiting to be found in the rock shelters and caves in Brazil in places little or not explored, Panzani said. The time of the peopling of the Americas is hotly debated in academia, but the most accepted age for human occupation is around 16,000 years ago, which would give this more like 10,000 more years earlier. Hmm. Acknowledges Panzani, recent finds and studies are showing that this timeline is way off. Yeah, no shit. And these researchers hope that this find helps cement that fact. Oh, so do I. I think this is very interesting. I have to say. All right. I mean, we've been saying for quite some time that we don't know history. History is, is not settled. At least going back that far. Mainstream doesn't seem to want to pick up on this. Sometimes this looks like there might be a way forward. I hope it is. But ultimately, I hope that our goal is that we actually look into things like the structures underneath Globeke Tepe or, you know, the 
all of the myths, you know, you know, all of the, you know, everything dating back, looking back and not humans. I believe that humans were indeed at a point at least around the same technology basis as we are today, just in a different way. I can't prove it, but that's just something that I believe that's something that needs to be researched. We need to look into these things and we can't just say, oh, yes, that was a burial site. Oh, yes, that was a religious thing. Oh, yeah. No, their humans weren't around at that time. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, that's all I have to say about this article. The reason I'm first off a little bit fluttered today and uh, uh, a little bit late with this video, I wanted to have this video out like at least an hour ago at least a little bit more than an hour ago the reason i haven't is because i got a new microphone i hope it sounds better let's test it out let me know in the comments below if it is better and i had just had a little bit of issues with it and peace was missing in the box and i'm like oh come on people i need this but i found a workaround for now at least but i am going to have to invest into a microphone arm Definitely, because it should be coming down from over here, from over here somewhere. Just so it, I can still type on my keyboard and do things while I'm talking in this microphone. Anyway, this is a very interesting topic. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Are you interested in this? I think it's cool. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.